Hey guys, it's Sue and welcome to my channel! Today I have a cool video for you guys and it's gonna be with my little paw, Snow right here. Snow, I just did my makeup, can you not lick my face? Why? Today I'm gonna tell you guys 10 things you need to know before getting a puppy. Those are really, really important and I figured them out over time while having him. I hope you guys will enjoy this video. Let's get right into the video! Number one, they pee and poop everywhere. Snow is literally out of hand sometimes. I'm trying to train him to pee on the mat, which is actually working really well, but in its early stages, he was kind of lost and didn't really know the difference between the carpet and the pee mat, even though the pee mat is white. It's white. The carpet is brown. Hello! So make sure you're not incredibly disgusted by the thought of seeing pee and poop everywhere and having that smell 24-7 in your room. You will have to put up with that. Number two, you don't get any sleep. Literally, I'm not even joking guys, the first couple days he was insanely energetic, he was up all night, he was crying when we would put him in his little cage that we have for him because he really wanted to be with us even during the night and what we had to do was literally take him out and cuddle him a little bit or Josh would sleep on the edge of the bed and would have his hand in his cage and then he would be quiet and honestly we didn't get any sleep for the first couple nights so Make sure you're ready for that. Number three, if you think you have a needy girlfriend or a needy boyfriend, this dog will be even more needy. Way more needy. Literally, he wants to be with you 24-7, wants attention 24-7, wants you to be with him, play with him, cuddle him. So literally, no time left for you. Number four, if you know me, you know that I love Food. food is honestly like the best thing in the entire world. I can't even describe how much I love food, how much I love Olive Garden or cheese or pasta or Italian food or I could go on and on, you know guys, but like I don't want you to think that I'm a fatty even though I am, but honestly they always want more food. They always want to eat. They're literally worse than I am. Snow wants food at least three times a day and no matter how much I give him, he wants more because he's a growing puppy. Obviously, he is craving food like all the time. And if he doesn't get his food on time, believe me, he's gonna be crying for that. Number five, since Noah's is pretty much a baby, pretty much like a baby actually, he loves to teeth on everything. He's teething right now because his teeth are growing and they're hurting. It's kind of like babies do that. They have their pacifier, but dogs obviously don't have a pacifier. So what they do is literally just chew and teeth, everything, and bite everything they find, especially my fingers. Yeah, if you have really sensitive fingers or if you're not good with pain, you should probably rethink if you want a puppy because he's gonna be teething on your fingers or on your toes or anything he can possibly find 24-7, literally. Or he will scratch you like he did right here. Thank you, puppy. I love you so much. Number six. We took Snow to the doctor and we got him his puppy shots. There's still like two or three puppy shots left until he's completely done. And we were so excited to finally walk him because he's so energetic. We need to get that out of him. As soon as we were after the doctor and we told him that we already bought a leash and everything and a collar, he was like, oh, you're not able to walk him until he had all of his puppy shots, which is not until he's four months old. Sorry, not sorry. And I was just like, what? But why? <laughs> According to internet research that I did, you should wait until he had all of his puppy shots, until he's completely healthy and is able to defend himself against any kind of sickness that is out there. Honestly guys, you have to be ready to tire your puppy out because he will have a lot of energy and nowhere to put it because you can't walk him yet, so be ready for that. Number seven. If you think I'm emotional and I am an emotional mess, you haven't met Snow because he likes to cry a lot. Not even joking. Like he likes to cry in the morning, likes to cry when he needs to pee, which is a good thing. He's already at the point where he signals me when he needs to pee or poop, which is amazing. Thank you, Jesus. But besides that, he just likes to whine like a little baby. And sometimes it does get annoying and you're just like, why? I love you so much, but oh, I want to like throw you against. No, I, I really don't. I promise. I never want to do that at all. Promise. Here's a little tip for you guys. If you guys have a cage, what you should get for your little puppy in the morning and at night, cover him with like a blanket, cover the cage with a blanket so he cannot see you. Actually, that helped Josh and I a lot because we are able to finally sleep through the night without puppy crying. I don't know why it works, but it does work and he doesn't cry until he actually wakes up. Number eight, he likes to really, really try to kill himself. 
24-7. It's like his favorite thing to do. Don't know why. Literally, I gotta watch out for him like 24-7. When I put him on a bed to cuddle with him, he likes to just jump off the bed. And he's so small and the bed is so freaking high that I'm just literally scared for his life. He literally jumped the bed like five times. One time he jumped and then he hit me while I was talking to Josh. And then he like flew back against the bed, against the metal, and I was like, oh my god, he's he's dying, but he was okay. We have this little table that is out of wood, so he would run and like bump his head, and he was fine after that. Even like any sharp object. I recently dropped a lid for a pot that we really liked. It was out of glass, so he will go and eat whatever is on the ground, if it's glass, if it's metal, if it's something that's poisonous, like anything like that. Make sure to clean your house. You have to clean your house. You have to make sure that there's no sharp objects, nothing he can eat on the floor because he is literally like a oh, baby. Like he will eat anything. He will literally like just munch and whatever is like close and nearby. Number nine. Dogs are expensive. Babies are expensive. A new person in the household is more expensive and obviously a new puppy will be expensive because you have to think about puppy shots, you have to think about medicine, about dog food. Dogs eat a lot like I said so that's gonna go into your budget. You will be spending a lot of money. Puppy shots are around $80. If he needs more it might be $100. That's like every two weeks until he's four months old. Number 10. After all, Puppies are like babies. They are literally like you and babies and they do not care if something is dangerous. They just do whatever they want. They like to sleep and eat and poop and pee and go to sleep and eat and play. I am hardcore parenting right now. I mean, I wouldn't even mind a baby right now, but we do want to wait a couple years. Babies are cute though, huh? Imagine a little me like this and then a little Josh. That would be so cute though. Oh my God. <laughs> So cute. I hope you guys liked the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my channel. If you haven't seen my vetting video or any videos with Josh, you can click on the playlist on my channel. I hope you guys really, really liked this video. See you in the next video. Bye!